Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the Shopify and Lovable integration. So basically building out a Shopify store using Lovable. Now, in my opinion, Shopify is the best uh, tool to build out online stores because they just, they just do a great job helping you with you know, managing orders, managing your products, everything that has to do in the back end. But there are some limitations when it comes to the front end, right? So, you know, creating a, a website from scratch, you start off with a few basic templates. The templates are quite limiting. And yes, you could buy some type of paid template or you can use like a like a template builder like Instant, for example, which I have another a few other videos on that if you want to check that out but lovable has been doing a great job when it comes to building out full stack apps so that's why today i just want to kind of explore it just go step by step and build out you know an example store here in front of you guys and before we get started with today's video i'd love to invite you guys to my discord community we are a bunch of different startup founders designers developers from all around the world and we get together every single weekday uh, via Google Meet, and we talk about different topics, different tools, different challenges in our lives. So if you guys are interested in, the, in joining that, feel free to join the link down in the description below. Now, if you head to the documentation in the Lovable website, there is a great doc that says build an e-commerce store with, with Shopify. And something very important to keep in mind is that this is for launching new online stores from scratch. So you can't really do this with existing online stores. Now, I have my own Shopify store over here where I have like you know, little gummies and droplets and shout out to Costa for my community for helping with helping me with the assets for these products. And I also have a short sleeve t-shirt. And so I want to use Lovable to build out a shop for these three little products that I have. So the first step to do here is to go back into Lovable and tell Lovable what type of store you want to build. So over here, we can go to lovable.dev slash Shopify and we can just enter our prompt. So we can say something like create an e-commerce store with Shopify. And that's a very important thing to kind of keep in mind. You want to include this in your prompt for selling vitamin gummies with three different color variants, vitamin droplets with three different flavors and a t-shirt with four different color variants. So let's go ahead and click on submit. And while it starts thinking and producing, you can see that we have this like little step-by-step -step guide on, on what to expect over here. So we have lovable cloud, and as you can see, it kind of shows us a quick little preview of how that looks like. Edit visually, code mode, go live instantly where we can connect our custom domain, for example, measuring performance, custom rules. And then over here on the left side, we need to allow the Shopify connection integration. So let's just click on allow. All right, so now that we have this done, we have our design over here on the right side and our products are empty. And basically what we have to do is just click on allow over here so that um, so basically that it can populate the, the actual design with like a facade of products. So these products are not going to be real. It's just going to be like a sandbox store. And unfortunately, I don't really like the design either. It's, it looks very AI generated. So we have to also find a solution for that. But let's just go ahead and kind of like allow these different products that it's suggesting us with. So over here we have the vitamin gummies, here we have the vitamin droplets, and here's gonna be our t-shirt. So let's just click on allow for a final time. And so now that we've done that, we can see under our products that we have all of the different products that we asked it for. So vitamin gummies, vitamin droplets, glow wellness t-shirt, and it did understand the different color variants in a very nice way. But again, I just don't like the design. I think it's very sloppy. I think that there's a lot of room for improvement, obviously. Now, when it comes to design, I always like to go to Magic Path because in Magic Path, you can really find a nice way to like get your ideas into finished UI in a very fast way. So for example, we can use a tool like this and we can bring in a text and say like our, our top products, right? And then we can draw some rectangles like this and select it and then replicate it like this, maybe like three or four times and maybe select them all and kind of like align them in the middle somehow, like so, put the text over here, right? And then what we can do is we can copy this SVG and I can move to the side a bit and I can go like, let's build an e-commerce top products section 
in the style of this sketch, right? Go like that, paste in this SVG, click on enter, and shout outs to Jacob, who is the founding designer of Magic Path for basically preparing this component. If you want to try it out yourselves, the link is down in the description below. But once you're done, you can get something like this, right? Where you have, you know, our top sellers, what's hot, value sets, blah, blah, blah. And you can not only do it with this section, you can also do it with the hero section or with the nav bar. So for example, I created the nav bar that looks like this. I created the hero section that looks like this. So it's very, very nice, top quality, best quality AI design out there. And we can bring in this design style into Lovable. So for example, I would like to get this and take a screenshot of this and ask Lovable to basically build out a hero section that looks more like this. So we can just drag and drop that screenshot in here and say, let's build a hero section that looks just like the image reference. All right, and we're slowly getting better um, with our designs. You know, it's not the same, but it's, it's, it's getting there, right? We have, you know, our text, it's the same copy that we have in Magic Path, which is great. It's the same structure, but there are a few things like with these stars that we can change and so on and so forth. But this is a great, this is a great start. And you can basically keep on doing this, like the same process, you know, from, from screenshot or from magic path design generation to screenshot to lovable with the other sections like the nav bar and the product pages and so on and so forth. All right. And after a few adjustments, we get our nav bar, we get our hero section, we get our little page looking like this and we, we the design is starting to look nicer. So once you're satisfied with the overall design, you can go ahead and click on claim over here to start accepting payments, claim your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and click on claim. So it says, I'll help you claim your Shopify store and, your, and start your 30 day free trial. So I already have a Shopify store, so it's gonna probably bring me to a new Shopify store. So let's go ahead and click on claim. And it says, claim your lovable store for this by accepting ownership. So let's go ahead and click on claim store and it is now claimed. So publish your store to go live, enable payments. And so let's open Shopify admin. And so we actually have a brand new store. So my old store, which was over here, this my store is something completely different, right? And now we have this glow gummy store that Shopify, uh, that Lovable generated for us. And we have, as you can see over here are different products. So if I have my gummies and I wanna add a picture of my gummies, right? I can go ahead and add the picture and we can then save this. And I wanna see how the syncing process works. So if we go back here and if I were to refresh this, how would that look like? All right, so we get our, our, our product over here. That's, that's actually pretty, pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and publish the site so you could eventually add a custom domain and edit all of this meta information. But in this case, I'm just going to publish mine because this is just for, for testing purposes. And if I go to my Shopify store, my lovable Shopify store, and if I were to add this to the cart, I can see check out with Shopify. And right now it has a price of 25 bucks and it seems to work pretty, pretty well. And even if you like add the lovable cloud, which I just did, can eventually add databases and authentication to your Shopify store, meaning you know someone would have to log in to actually buy a product or someone would have to register to, to buy a specific product, for example. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this whole flow, what you think, what will happen in the future. Will a lot of people head towards Lovable to create custom Shopify stores or will they you know, eventually build out templates in Lovable? Yeah, love to know your opinion on that. And like always, thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.